Caleb and I found something absolutely wild. We're trying to figure out if it's a good deal. It is a 2015 Ford F550 and it's a bus. It's a 20, how many passenger? I think 32. It's like a 32 passenger bus. And we're trying to figure out if it's a good deal. We're looking on eBay to see what they're selling for based on the mileage and the year model. We think we can make anywhere from five to $15,000 off this one item alone, although it's ginormous. But right now we're having trouble finding these vehicles, obviously because it's not you know every day that you see uh, 28, 32 passenger, basically school buses posted online. So we're gonna figure it out, but it's 2015. We wish it was a diesel, but it's a gas Ford engine, 6.8 liter V10. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go from there. We're gonna find out and I'll let you guys know in just a second. All right, it's okay. The, the, the brakes aren't the same as the vehicle. They're air brakes. They have to be pumped up, and you have to know the pressure that you have to pump it to. I'll make sure Weston drives it. He's my buddy. He can go to jail if we need to. No. Just don't get a bus if you don't have a place to park it. All right. It's going to be hard to unload. All right. So I called my mom. She used to have a CDL. And she, apparently there's a lot of big fines if you get caught driving this thing, which we're not gonna drive it. We're gonna find someone. I'm not driving a giant bus down the main street in Arizona. You get up two lanes, you're like, oh, I thought a bus could do that. I thought it's legal, it's like a train. You just get out of the way for it. You're taking corners as if you're driving a car, just totally wrong. <laughs> He's having a, he's having a, yeah. So Hey, he's having a beer and we're gonna go check out his FJ? Let's go check it out. All right, let's go right now. All right, so we found a 07. Caleb found, Caleb. Caleb found a uh, no. 07. Uh, FJ, we're gonna go look at it. High mileage, but it just got posted. The guy's really cool. He's like, I'm gonna have a beer at the, at the clubhouse. You guys can go just check it out. I'll let you in the gate. Just let me know, I'm gonna have a beer. And we're like, oh, okay. I just want his damn beer. Yeah. And now he has a Corolla for sale too. So we're gonna try and offer on both and then go from there. I gotta get my shoes, guys. We're going right now. I'll keep you guys updated. That van or that bus is on hold. We're kind of confused. We don't know, have comparable deals in the area. The guy doesn't need money, you can tell. He's like, well, duh, he like, he like he's like, duh, everything's negotiable. And we're like, oh, okay, it's a cool guy. And he's like, I'm gonna have a beer at the clubhouse. Y'all come look at him. We're like, okay. Um, so he's, I don't even know if he's going to be there when we look at him, but uh, we're going to let you guys know in just a second. I hope we can get both of them, honestly. That'd be nice. Two for one in one location. So easy. So easy to do. And we can get done with it, be done with it, and go from there. Let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. That's what I'm going to tell him. I'm like, dude, we're going to buy the FJ from you, but only if you throw in the Corolla. So you tell me. You, you tell me right now. Corolla for cheaper. You want to do that? Some other guy? <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, it was an FJ. Oh, well, this is a nice neighborhood. This is a good sign. He's at, he's drinking a beer at the clubhouse, and he and he said he's gonna call our name in. Oh wait, how are we gonna do this? Oh, oh, don't don't look like we don't know what we're doing. Oh shoot, here she is. Let's camera. Let's do, let's do the handshake. Let's reenact the handshake. <laughs> it was the lamest handshake I've ever felt in my life. I honestly, like thought about taking the deal back. I was like, man, you can have the Corolla after that handshake. Uh, but we're at the golf course. This is a nice neighborhood. We have to get these two as a package. Offer a lower price for both, and then he'll be able to sell two at once, so it makes sense for him, and it makes sense for us, and we might have to leave this car here for now. All right, we're looking at this FJ. Super dirty. The guy is extremely honest. 226,000 miles, or 22, which is very high, but it's a Toyota, huge pro. FJ, they don't make them anymore, so that's very rare. Um, they hold value extremely well. And obviously you can tell that he didn't even try to please us. It's got a lot of scratches on the side that I can actually get out with my thumb. So I think I could buff and wax a lot of these out on the silver paint that you can see above. And um, if we could get this for 7,000, I think it'd be a really good deal and go from there. But I think so. I'm not for sure, but I'm pretty certain um, about this so far. Keep you guys updated. We need to drive it, need to focus a little bit. Full wheel drive as well. Hey, so it has a smoke smell. It's very scratched up on the outside, but we think we can buff it out, fix it. We don't know if we want to offer in person on this one. 
I can't tell. I don't know. I mean, I know the guy will come off, but I think that we should offer no more than like 7,000 um, because it has the smoke smell. Everything works fine. It drives amazing. Um, it's super dirty. I think we can leverage that and the scratches. Uh, but as of right now, I think we should just hold off for a little bit, see what happens. I'm not sure. Kind of bummed out that we can't get both of them. The guy's honestly too honest or not too honest but he's a really good person that kind of inclines me more to buy this because he's so honest i think that helps a lot for this vehicle alone um but i'm gonna think about it i'm gonna do some more research and then we'll go from there it's only been posted for like one hour um very very good that's a huge pro oh what in the world wow that's kind of cool all right i need to get over it drives great though and these are very good looking vehicles very attractive um so We'll see what happens. Brand new tires on it. Tires are probably eight, nine hundred dollars alone. Um, so I think it's a very good vehicle. But you know they drove it around in Moab, um, so it's definitely been through its paces. But uh, full wheel drive works. Everything's good. Just got to really do some research. That's what it looks like as it sits. It's got a dent right there. We don't know what to offer. We're trying to think about what we should offer. It's kind of high mileage, but it's nice. Besides the scratches, we can get all those out. All right, so we're kind of in a pickle. He's not budging. We he offered. Budged, he budged. Well, he budged. He went from 89 to 83. That's not really budging much. We offered, what did we offer? 75? Yeah, no, he went from 87 to 83. 87 to 83, but what did we offer? We offered 75. We offered 75. We started at seven. We should have started at seven. That's what I said. Should have started at seven, it's okay. He's, uh, now it's more of an ego thing, which I don't like. Because he did it in front of his friends. He did it in front of his friends and he's drunk. So now he's trying to play hardball. Um, and there was like five of his friends there and we're just like sitting there and they're just like, he's like, no, nah, buddy. Yeah, he got he's like, you don't learn. know me. You got a lot to learn. We're like, like, you got a lot to learn about negotiation. We're going to think about it. I'm going to go back home real quick. I'm going to show you guys what they're selling for with this similar amount of mileage. You guys let me know what you guys think we should do. We're going to have to make a decision within the next day and um, go from there. Mechanically, it's perfect. Visually, it's definitely been down some trails and stuff, um, but you can tell mechanically it's in good shape um, by a couple different factors, um, and I'll explain why in just a little bit, but I'm gonna go to my computer screen, show you guys a little bit more. All right, guys, so we are back inside of our room. You guys can see this is our office. Um, we just looked on eBay, eBay, how much these are going for with similar amounts of mileage. Um, ours, again, has what, 224,000? Yep. 224,000 miles. It's the four-wheel drive um, loaded out. Super nice, has super good maintenance records, clear title, um, silver, original, but original owner. original owner, still a one owner vehicle, which is very, very important, very, very good. We got them down to, what did we end up getting? $8,200. $8,200 for a 2007 FJ. Yes, it has a ton of miles, but if there's one vehicle that I think you could you know, compare it to, since it's a Toyota, would be a high mileage um, Tacoma, like a full four door. They still sell for a ton of money if it has one owner and they've been taken care of. And you can tell pretty much straight away with these engines and transmissions as soon as you drive them. This also has brand new tires on it. I'm gonna take you inside my screen really quick, or I'm gonna show you my screen and show you a couple of deals on eBay and Craigslist um, with similar amount of mileage and how much they're listed for. Not saying that they're gonna get that price, but since we got it for so cheap, um, we'd be happy to make a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars off this really cool vehicle and something that we can enjoy, not only just sell for a profit. And I think that's really important that we do that um, with this strategy because we'll be able to drive it and we know it's reliable, we know it's a Toyota, we know it has potential to go for a hundred thousand more miles, um, as well as maybe off road with it for a little bit. But um, on top of that, make a thousand dollars is awesome, absolutely. So, let me show you my screen right now and then we'll close this video out for you guys. Okay guys, so we are in eBay. Since this vehicle has been discontinued, it's important that you look nationally for vehicles like this. There's not that many listed. It's more of a rare vehicle. I wouldn't say it's extremely rare, would you say? No. It's not extremely rare, but it's enough to where you need to be able to see at least four to five to six of these to really understand what they're selling for based on the mileage. So, um, for example, we have one right here that has 260,000 miles completely stock on eBay, on eBay Motors, um, listed for 10,500 to buy it now. It's getting around four views per hour, um, and it looks like it's in very, very good shape. It's stock, I think it might have like a two inch lift. It's got wheel uh, tires on it, not wheels. Um, but saying that it's got the front bumper, ours has that as well. I don't know if that's going to help or hurt it that much. I think it'll be kind of like a Jeep to where it's like kind of neutral may help for someone that's a really big enthusiast, 
But again, ours is a one owner with 40,000 less miles than this one. And this one's priced at 10.5. It's also yellow, where ours is silver, which is a little bit more of an appealing color, in my opinion, for these. Although yellow doesn't look bad on this at all. Um, if I can go back to the front. I think that silver and white is more common and might appeal to a larger audience. So I think we're better on a many different aspects than this one um, for our deal. Um, this is exactly what ours looks like uh, with just more miles. So if we keep looking, here is one for 11.9. I think blue is very appealing on these, the blue and white. This is 11,900 listed for with the identical amount of miles. Um, I'm not sure if it's an original owner, but 228,000 miles you can see here, clear title, four wheel drive as well. Um, it is blue. And this is just what we do, how we can evaluate not using Kelly Blue Book, but to just see comparable deals in our area and nationally, depending on if it's more of a rare car or a high volume car. You may not have to do that, but with this car, it's kind of more rare um, and it might help you a little bit to do national searches. Um, so saying this, paying 8,200 for hours and seeing them listed for 11.5, 11.9, 10.9, 10.7. Um, we know that we can enjoy this vehicle, maybe go off-roading with it. We know that it's going to be reliable because it's Toyota, number one. Um, it's original owner. He has documents for every single oil change and all kinds of stuff like that. We talked to him, um, him and the wife. Uh, and he was a very funny guy. He was, he was cussing. Uh, just a really cool dude. You could tell he was like really authentic. He sold his other car very cheap. He sold both of them right then and there. Did it. You could tell he didn't need to sell it, but it just helps to you know understand stuff like that. But this is what I wanted to show you guys with understanding you know what's a good deal. Um, if you go to Craigslist, you can see a couple of these as well. So let me pull up Craigslist real quick and do FJ right here. Here's one at 14 nine. 246,000 miles. It's been on here for 36 minutes at a dealership. Wow, okay. That's really good. We haven't seen this one yet. So this is how we compare. I mean, it's literally this simple, but um, you know, 14.9, so 15,000 for this 07, just like ours with 20,000 more miles than us. And it's all about how you maintain these vehicles and ours looks just as good on the inside and out. So I think that we'll be okay. I think that we'll do very, very well with this vehicle in general. And we can really just go from there saying that. All right, guys, so that's really just it. That is the vehicle that we picked up. You guys can't see it right now because the guy needs to get all of his stuff out and detail it for us, but it is an 07 FJ with 220,000 miles. Understanding that it's a Toyota and a rare truck that has been discontinued, the mileage is not as big of an issue as most vehicles. Yeah. Um, there are very select few of vehicles where you can buy these higher mileage cars and they still hold value well. A lot of them don't, so please understand that before commenting. I know you guys are gonna be like, dude, that's way too many miles. I get it, it is for most vehicles, but this one is a little exception, especially being one owner. Um, but we expect to make $1,000 to $1,500 off this FJ, and I think we're gonna love driving it. So much better than a Jeep, much quieter, much smoother, and very, very cool looking vehicle. Um, I think that's really it. I think that's all I have to say for you guys. If you guys wanna learn more about what we do, how we teach people how to do this on a daily basis, click the first link down in the description. It's our Flipping Wheels program. We teach people every single day how to do this. It's very, very cool. And it's very informative because if you have to buy a car in the future, which more than likely you will have to buy multiple in your lifetime from here on out, it's very important to understand to never lose money on a car again, regardless if you wanna sell it for a profit or just keep it for two years and then break even on it. Click that first link down below. We teach everything step by step. If you guys wanna follow me or Caleb on Instagram, click the second and third link in the description. We'd love to stay connected with you and answer any questions in our direct messages on Instagram. Like always, take it easy guys. You will see this FJ in the near future, probably in the next three days, you'll see another video um, of us actually detailing it, cleaning it, and probably relisting it. So watch out for that one, and I'll see you guys next time. Yep.